some very interesting things. Absolutely. And you know what? Each year, thousands of South African women enter the Mrs. South Africa platform to showcase that women really can have it all and be it all. Career women, moms, and sometimes ever, you know, they've even won a crown too. Mm -hmm. And just like uh, our next guest, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome for the very first time in the Expresso Studios, our current Mrs. South Africa for 2018, Nicole Kappa. Yeah. You've been here before because we showed your journey. I feel like Kapeho I've been here was before. Host. I'm such a fan. So this for me is bucket list to actually be in the studio. Oh, yeah, thank we you for are having me. fans of you. And like Zoe said, congratulations to you. So, Thanks so what's you. life been like? I mean, that sash just kind of <laughs> screams my life is about to change right now because there's so many media <laughs> presses to attend. But how has your life um, changed since being crowned Mrs. SA 2018? It's mm -hmm. been the greatest gift that I could ever imagine. Obviously, it's a massive responsibility. Um, I don't take it lightly because, um, yeah, it was a life-changing moment. But um, the most empowering experience of my life. Oh. Uh, I feel like I've changed and grown, and now I know who I want to become. Because the people that have come before me that have worn this crown, I, uh, I hold them in my heart and carry their message with me. Look at that picture. That that speech. Ah, that oh, moment was amazing. <laughs> were, were you singing something in your head at that time? <laughs> it looks like you were. Like, Let it go. <laughs> it, it was actually a, exactly a year before that that I stood, sat in the audience and I watched Lindy Weir get crowned, wow. and uh, it was very emotional and surreal yeah. to be there and have it happen for me was. I think that's that was just taking wonderful. it all in. Wow. That's absolutely wonderful. But you really got thrown into the deep end. You just crowned Mrs. South Africa, and then you had to compete on the global stage in the Mrs. World pageant. Yes. What was that like for you to go straight to an international uh, pageant? It was amazing. I mean, those are my girls now. <laughs> and it's so incredible because it doesn't matter where they're from in the world or their language or their families or their background or their career. Nothing matters. You get together on that stage with one common goal and... There's no ba barriers, mm -hmm. and you're, you're essentially the same. You woman, you're passionate, you're excited, and we're connected like we sisters forever. Yeah, and I, I can't believe how quickly that production was put together so well. Seriously, because uh, it was it was intense rehearsals uh, throughout the, the couple of days that I saw all of you ladies there. But tell me about the importance that you think uh, Mrs. South Africa as a title and the Mrs. World contest holds in in what it says to the world mm. about where women are what women can be, and what, what it means in the context of the world we live in right now. But look, I mean, I'm not a pageant girl. Mm. I've never done anything like this in my life. So for me, the message of the Tammy Taylor Mrs. South Africa yeah. movement is one of female empowerment. And really, that's why I did what I did last year. Mm. It uh, was totally outside of my comfort zone, and I found the joy was in the journey. It was about growing and uh, changing, yeah. and it was about surrounding yourself with these other powerful women who you can learn from. And uh, I wouldn't trade it for the world. It was one of the most life-changing experiences you could ever wish for. I can't believe you've never oh. done pageants before. So this was really <laughs> one of your wow. first pageants. Yes. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, we have Mrs. South Africa, Nicole Kappa, with us in studio. She's going to be hanging out with us, giving us a little bit more insight into what her year is um, looking like ahead. So don't go anywhere. She's going to be hanging out with us on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Thank you. It's my Feel Good Breakfast Show. Welcome back. This is your Feel Good Breakfast show. And Mrs. South Africa 2018, Nicole Kappa, is still with us in studio this morning. And seeing that she will be the reigning queen for the next year, we just have to get to know her a little bit better and as best we can. And we've already spoken to her about her win. And now it's time to peel back another layer, get some insider info, yeah. and really get to know the lady behind the sash and crown. Yeah, you know, just to make sure we made the right choice, Nicole. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. This is the hot seat, <laughs> It is the hot seat. It's all love. Hey, calm down in the kitchen. Um, so when, when you're not wearing the sash and the crown and, um, you know, kind of executing official duties, what can we find Nicole doing? What, what do you like doing when you're not working? I like to think of myself as an adventurer. Uh -huh. I like having fun. I like being outdoors. And I love being active. Yeah. So for me, I love running. I love CrossFit. Um, I love being healthy with my kids. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, we live, we live outside. I love that. And, and you're I'm taking on yeah, yeah. A, a big task soon, aren't you? 
Yes, so if anyone followed the journey last year, they would know that my whole purpose was my little girl who has a rare life-limiting disease. So I work closely with Rare Diseases South Africa. Oh. And that's my, those are my beautiful kids. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I miss them so beautiful. much. <laughs> um, and wow. they, uh, yeah, my little girl, she was my inspiration. And she made me brave. And so I want it to be this year a message of bravery and doing things that are outside your comfort zone and finding yourself in the process. I think that's something for all women. So I am taking on an amazing adventure, going to climb to Base Camp of Everest in April. That's incredible. And uh, very privileged to be going alongside CBC Suvalani. And it's his third summit attempt. He's summited twice before, but this is the first time without oxygen. And it's very significant because my little girl has a lung disease, so every breath that I breathe up there will be for her and oh. for those who can't. I think that's absolutely beautiful. And I mean, you are now obviously training for that and you are trying to juggle mom life, work life, uh, wife life. How do you find the balance? Yeah. I always say that that's the question for every woman. It doesn't really matter what you do. It yeah. could be a corporate career. It could be studying for your MBA. It could be um, anything. It's about... Those are my girls. <laughs> uh, it's about, uh, yeah, being... Finding a balance for yourself. Yeah, finding a balance and um, prioritizing. I think it's important to know what your number one priority will be. And for me, it will always be my kids. And um, they come first, and then everything from that flows. Yeah. Tell me about some of your ambitions, because you are in a very privileged and powerful, influential position as Mrs. South Africa. What are some of the goals that you have... Um, you know, in line for 2018 and your reign that you'd like to achieve? I would like to try and be a voice, first of all, advocating for rare diseases, but also for women and for mm. female empowerment. I'm so privileged to be part of this movement because it's about helping women really rediscover their true essence and take back their power. It's a message for modern women. It's a message, you know, the whole campaign this year is about living in full colour. Mm. And uh, I think that that's important for women to just be passionate, embrace their true selves and follow their heart, not just live under guilt of what they should be and cultural expectations over their lives, but to just re rediscover who they are. So for me, that's part of my message and part of my personal goals. Mm. Obviously, doing a lot of challenges for rare diseases as a rare activist and, uh, yeah, building some exciting things in the process. I love that message. Excellent. I believe, is it true that entries are open already for they, the oh, next oh, Mrs. Can South Africa? It. They're really trying to replace it. <laughs> <laughs> and your advice for the ladies that want to enter? If you have one or two percent of you that thinks that could be amazing, yeah. go for it. Do Just do it. Leap. If the only emotion holding you back is fear, that's the wrong thing to hold you back. It is a life-changing journey. The joy is in the journey. And uh, I would encourage women before the 28th of Feb, get your entries in online, uh, mrssouthafrica.co.za. There's all the social media accounts. Go and follow and be part of the journey. Well, yeah. Nicole, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. Thank you for you having me. You are an exemplary lady. Thank you. And we are so proud to have you as our Mrs. South Africa. Thank, thank you. you very, very much. And thank yes, you. the details are on screen right now if you'd like to enter uh, this year's pageant that is Mrs. South Africa. Make your way to those places and make sure that your voice is heard. It's my feel-good birthday show. Well, listen, it's not every single day that you have a Mrs. South Africa in your studio. So when you do, you take the moment to get to know them better. So our 2018 Mrs. South Africa, Nicole Kappa, is here. So we are going to take the time just to get to know you a little bit better. We're going to play a game of Would You Rather. We're going to give you two mm. options, mm. and yours is to think on the spot Steal very myself. quickly. Give us the first thing that comes to mind. Are you cool with that, Nicole? Do I have to explain it afterwards? Well, Maybe. we'll see how far Justified. we go with that. Yes. Okay, first one. Would you rather wear sneakers or heels? <laughs> heels, heels. Uh, 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 yes. You have to think about that okay. for a second. Yes. All right. Natural hair or weave? Natural. Uh, travel the world or explore your own country? Explore my own country. Mm. Ooh, have the power to be invisible or the power to fly? Fly. And would you choose to be the most beautiful in the world or the most intelligent? Intelligent. Okay. What's your favorite movie? Of all time. No, I can't answer that because like all I'm thinking is The Lion King and Frozen. I and mean, you're asking a mother. It's, it's an embarrassing question. Well, there's I, a lot of reasons. Please add Moana to that No, that moment in Moana when she's walking through the ocean with the stone. It's life-changing. It's adorable. Oh, Nicole, it's been so great having you um, on the show, hanging out with us on this Friday oh, morning. Thank you for having me. It's yeah, good luck for you. It's okay to say here. Lion King's your favourite movie. It's one of I was, mine. I was going. I honestly <laughs> thought you were going to say The Notebook and then I was going to high-five you, but then you weren't, oh. we weren't even on that level. No, no. We, it was there. 
okay, but I thought that's a little bit too cheesy, so <laughs> it's okay. Okay, listen, we're going to take a quick break. Uh, when we come back, uh, Nicole was looking at our Friday dances outside, and I think I might have heard Nicole saying she would like to join the Friday dance. Could it happen? We'll see after the break. <laughs>